Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing introduction to Fourier series. Fourier series is a way of representing a function in terms of infinite trigonometric series. That is, given a certain function, you can represent it in an, you can represent it as an infinite series consisting either sine terms only, cosine terms only, or a combination of sine and cosine terms. AC current voltage, waves, and vibrations are examples of periodic functions that can be represented in Fourier series. In electrical, in electrical engineering, power electronics, image processing, and signal processing are some of applications of Fourier series among many others. In signal processing, filtering is one of the best applications of Fourier series, and it helps and it helps remove background noise in signals. In image processing, an extension of Fourier series called Fourier transform is used. In mechanical engineering, heat transfer equations and vibration analysis are some of the application of Fourier series. In civil engineering, design of adequate resistance structures is, one, is an example of application of Fourier series. By expanding a given function in terms of infinite, trigon infinite trigonometric series, Fourier series helps to view a whole as sum of its parts and therefore helps in modeling of natural phenomena. To wrap us understand what is a periodic signal or waveform and differentiate between continuous and discontinuous signal or waveform, here I have a signal generator that is producing various types of signals, sine wave, square wave, lamp, pulse, and even noise. I also have an oscilloscope where the signals are projected, and then a laptop to help project the signals on another screen. Look at this sine wave. One, it is continuous. Two, it is periodic. Because if we go to zero position here, this is a zero position, it's where the sine wave is starting. If we move along the waveform, so we start from zero, we move to the maximum value, go back to zero, that's the positive half cycle. Then we move downward to the negative side and we reach the ne negative maximum and then back to the zero position. So that is the negative half cycle. That is a whole cycle. So a whole cycle is made of a positive half cycle and the negative half cycle. Now, the time taken to complete a whole cycle is what we call periodic time. What you are seeing here, after the first cycle has been completed, everything else, everything else is just the repetition of the first cycle. So the next cycle is similar to the first cycle. The whole waveform which you are seeing on the screen is just one cycle that is repeated many times. So a sine wave or a sinusoidal signal is periodic and, and at the same time it is continuous. This waveform is also periodic, but it's not continuous, it is discontinuous. It is periodic because if you, we start at where the cursor is, we move to the maximum value the value of the voltage is 4 volts because I'm using 2 volts per division scale and there are 2 squares, so the maximum value of the voltage is 2 volts. So we start from 0 to a maximum value, which is 4 volts. The voltage remains at 4 volts for a while, but suddenly it drops from 4 volts to the negative side, which is negative four volts. So this is discontinuous. 
there is a sudden change from 4 volts to negative 4 volt. It's called a discontinuity or a it's called a finite discontinuity or a finite jump. However, this signal is also periodic in that you have the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle. Both of them they complete a period. That the whole what we have after the first cycle is just a repetition of the cycles. Just the same waveform repeated over and over again. So this is a periodic but a discontinuous signal. The Fourier series is that it can be used to represent a function with discontinuity. Contrary to McRowling series and Taylor series, McRowling series and Taylor series, they cannot be used to represent functions with discontinuity. So Fourier series is considered as a more superior series because it can be used to represent signals with discontinuity in terms of infinite trigonometric series. Another signal we have here is a sawtooth so waveform which is periodic and at the same time continuous. Periodic because if we start from here, the zero position, the voltage will slowly rise to the maximum value and then it slowly drops to zero. That is the positive half cycle. And then slowly increases to the negative maximum value. This is the negative half cycle. So the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle, they complete a cycle. This signal is also continuous because the waveform is changing slowly. Compare this signal, so to the, and this one. This one is discontinuous. Also, this one is discontinuous. So, so this so to this continuous, but square f is discontinuous. There is a finite jump or a sudden change from the maximum positive value to the maximum negative value. This one is also discontinuous. We also have a noise signal. A noise signal is not periodic. So it cannot be used, it cannot be represented in Fourier series unless of a, a given range of two pi radians. Non-periodic series, non-periodic signals are usually represented using Fourier transform, which is an exp which is an extension of Fourier series. On the whiteboard, there are three signals that I want us to differentiate. The first one is a sine wave, and therefore you can say it is sinusoidal in nature. The second and the third signal, they are they do not resemble a sine wave, and therefore you can say they are non sinusoidal. They are non sinusoidal in nature. The first signal or function is periodic because the function starts at zero, increases to the positive maximum, reduces back to zero, so this is a positive half cycle, goes to the negative value, reaches the max negative maximum value, and then goes back to zero. This is a negative cycle. The positive half, the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle, they make a complete cycle. The cycle ends at 2 pi radians, and therefore, the function is periodic with 2 pi. At the same time, the function is continuous because there is no finite jump at any point, but the value of the function changes gradually. Therefore, this function is one, sinusoidal, two, periodic, and three, continuous. The second function is also periodic, because we can see from zero to four milliseconds, 
a whole cycle is made. And then from fourth to eighth millisecond, another cycle is made. From fourth to eight milliseconds, it is a repetition of zero to four millisecond. So this function is periodic with this function is, peri is periodic with four milliseconds. It is a function of time and the independent variable time is given in millisecond. And therefore you can see this function is periodic with the four milliseconds. Second function is one, non sinusoidal, two, periodic. But if we look at position four milliseconds, the value of the function changes suddenly from the negative value which is negative 4 to the positive value which is 4. There is a sudden change. This sudden change represents a discontinuity or a finite jump. And therefore, this function is, has some discontinuity. You can say it's discontinuous. But this discontinuity is finite because it's starting from negative 4 to 4. We also call it a finite jump. The third function is not periodic. There is no instant at which we can see the value of the function repeating itself for a whole period. And therefore, this one is non-sinusoidal. It is non-sinusoidal, non-periodic, but it has, some con it has some discontinuities. Therefore, we can say it is discon discontinuous. It is discontinuous. For the rest of the topic, we will be dealing with either sinusoidal or non-sinusoidal signals which are periodic. Fourier series can be used to represent a function which is discontinuous. And therefore, it is considered to be a more superior type of series than other series like McLaren series and Taylor series which cannot be used to represent discontinuous functions.